what is up youtubers so we're back again with the n54 build we have received the cylinder head back from the machine shop so basically i put in new valves new valve springs new keepers and new seats new valves uh stem seals and also new valve guides so the machinist said some of the valves were bent and the guides needed to be replaced so we went ahead and did that um Okay, so you guys can see everything was cleaned out. We took out the injectors, the spark plugs, also the lifters and the rockers. Um, we have the oil filter housing off, the vanoses, the cam sensors, the intake studs, the exhaust studs, the ports were cleaned. I will flip over the head. He did some machine work in the bowl area. The tensioners removed. And also, I got some parts laid out here that I'm going to be trying to install in the next uh, few videos. So we have the bed plank sealant. We have our front cam seal guard, our vacuum pump cover, the upper timing guide, head bolts. Uh, we're going to be reusing the washers. We have our exhaust studs, exhaust nuts. The rear main seal still has to be installed. Some hardware vacuum hose we got a water pump we got a thermostat um a water pump hose we got our index 12 injectors and um we have our head gasket so we're gonna have to drill out one of the rivets it looks like i believe it was on the other side i believe it's this rivet over here so that rivet, or you guys can see it, this rivet has to be drilled out because it is interfering with the, the mating surface. But, um, so I gotta get the washers so we could put the head on and then we can move forward from there. But, um, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm, what else I'm working on. Alright, so I got a couple of parts out laid out on my table here. I was trying to figure out where everything goes and kind of organize how I'm going to do this. So basically, I got these fittings here that go in the block. So this is the rear block for the coolant passage, that fitting right there. This is going to be our new oil feed line. And this is going to be our new coolant feed line. This is a drain freeze out plug this is the oil drain on the turbo side it actually screws into this flange and then you bolt that flange to the turbo itself and then this goes into the block this is the oil drain and then there's a hose that connects in between the two ports and then um we have our uh exhaust gasket for the turbo housing and um, we have some oil and coolant feed lines. This is the new coolant pipe. So these two bolts came in the kit because this is a lot different than the OEM coolant pipe. And also it has that fitting inside this end for the coolant line. And then um, also I screwed these fittings in. At first I didn't know what they were for, but they look like coolant passages. So I'm, I'm assuming some coolant lines go here to circulate coolant through the turbo. And this is actually the oil feed fitting on the turbo side. I believe some of this hardware is to connect, you know, stuff like this flange. But um, I'm not sure where these items go. I'm still trying to figure that out. And so everything is like a AN fitting. So that's pretty good for reliability but um, I'm gonna start installing some of these pieces here so I don't have the washers with me for the head bolts and I don't have um, my drill to drill out that rivet for the head gasket so I'm gonna hold off on putting on the cylinder head for right now but what I could do in the meantime is um, start installing those fittings like you can see here this is one of the areas I got to block off and then also I got to block off this area up here. This is where the new coolant pipe goes 
this is where the oil feed goes and then this is where our new coolant feed goes and then our new oil drain goes in there so that's going to be what today's video is about all right so you guys can see how it's in there and then the bolt that it came with uses a six millimeter allen wrench so you gotta do is screw that on and torque it so already tighten that up just make sure it's snug and that one is done it was easy so the next one up is going to be this piece here it's short and it has an AN fitting on one side this is going to be the coolant feed for the turbo so this is going to go in there like like that and then same thing lube the o-ring and then tighten the bolt so the next bolt um, you use a five millimeter allen wrench and I'm gonna be putting the thread lock on all of these uh, bolts I'm gonna use the the low or medium strength Loctite okay guys so we got that one installed and I am using Loctite on all the hardware and um, the next one we're gonna be installing We'll shoot for this guy here. This is gonna be the rear coolant block. So the next one I'm gonna go after is this coolant drain for the front. Basically it's gonna, wow. It's gonna go right here. Um, I don't know if this, this one came with hardware. Probably gonna have to use the OEM hardware for this one. So that is the oil drain right there. Basically, it's gonna just go in like, like this. And then that bolt is gonna hold it on right there. So there it is guys. As you can see, the hole lined up perfectly. And um, the next thing would be to install that freeze out plug. Probably gonna use a 10 millimeter socket and a hammer. And this is what the freeze out plug looks like it's just a little metal cap so got to tap that in all right guys so you can see it's it's there I just got to tap it in with the hammer and um, probably at this point too you install this coolant pipe but um, you need two of the OEM uh, bolts and then also you're going to need the OEM gasket as well. So basically when you got the right stuff, it's going to look something like that. So you got the coolant pipe, the oil feed, you got the freeze out plug, the rear block, you got the front coolant feed, and the pipe itself came with a feed on it. And then you got the front drain. So this is a water pump. The N54 uses an electronic water pump. And this guy is going to get bolted right here. As you guys can see that. But first, before I mount this water pump, I need to find the screw for that drain so we can lock that in because it's kind of blocking it. So for now, next thing I'm going to do is set up some pieces on the turbo. Um, this flange for the drain actually came with some hardware kind of looks similar to that hardware these don't have washers and those do so we'll see so this was that other drain piece I was showing you guys so this has to be screwed into here but I would suggest some Teflon tape or some kind of pipe sealant that way you don't have a leak between the threads and you actually have to face this when you tighten it in the direction that you want it so this step I actually recommend doing after you install the intake I mean the exhaust manifold that way you can figure out what position you need this thing to point in because you actually have to install this piece into this before you bolt it onto the turbo if that makes sense so if you take a close look at the hardware itself the one that came with the dock race kit is actually a higher strength. It says 
uh, 12.9 or something like that and this says 8 and also the head is a bit beefier and on top of that the washer is going to distribute the load much better so I'm probably going to use these bolts instead of the one that came with the flange. So the other piece you'll find in the kit is this 90 degree AN fitting. So one side is a female and one side is a male. You're going to use the female side and screw it into the oil feed port on the turbo. But in order to do that, you're actually going to have to remove the hot side of the housing so you can screw this in because it's going to hit the flange. So like, you see how it hits the flange? And also you're going to use some whatever Teflon or some pipe sealant in there as well. Okay, we're out. So I'm just doing little things I can do in the meantime. So I just put on this upper portion of the timing chain. Chain rides on one guide rail on the right side. And then you got to clip this piece into the lower half right here. It's just like a snap and clip. And then, um, you know, the chain runs along the other side like that. And once you drop the head down on there, you got these two areas where you bolt it on to the head. All right, guys, so I got the upper timing guide on. So you can see it's locked in. I got this vacuum pump hose that got to get clipped on to, wow, to the vacuum pump right where that yellow nozzle is. So we're going to just pop that on real quick. All right, guys, we got the vacuum pump cap it goes here. So we just got to tap that in. So I'm just going to. Rest it right there for now.